Hey everybody. I've been telling you guys for quite some time that we were going to talk about these 68 Fords I've got around here. So finally got a decent evening. So we'll talk about this 68 LTD two door with the Brome interior. I bought this car in, let's see, it was on Facebook marketplace. And of course I was still looking for 68 Fords just to do whatever I could do to get the parts I needed for my parents' convertible to get it done, which is finally getting worked on now. But this car, I just really hated to part out because even though I bought it up by Chicago, it, it truly is an Arizona rust-free car, and I hated to rip it apart, but I really thought that I was going to need the doors off of it, and then I would have just found some not-so-great doors to put back on it and resold it because that's what I do. To get the good stuff that i need so anyway it's been sitting here all this time and it's really starting to deteriorate and i finally got good doors so one of my friends down in north carolina is wanting it so i told him he could have it i overpaid for it but he's willing to give me what i gotta have back out of it i put the gt style hubcaps on it it had the regular um standard ford 68 hubcaps on it <clears throat> I ask for many, many pictures because you know, I, I don't hardly ever buy anything sight unseen, but I felt like I just, I didn't want to drive all the way north of Chicago to get it. And they sent me enough close up pictures that I could tell that I was believing them. Like I said in my last video, you can tell that it has all these original body lines. Nothing's been messed with there's no bondo i even had them send me pictures of you know the bottoms of the doors and stuff and you can just tell that it's all original no rust so i went ahead and bought it and i had them deliver it down to me and it's really an oddly optioned car it's a power window car has factory air disc brakes has a power driver seat, even has vacuum door locks. See there, it's a 392 barrel, C6. So, you know, it has these neat little options like that, but then you see it, it doesn't even have a, a right hand mirror and it doesn't have a remote mirror. It's just got the manual one here and no tilt wheel. Like, you know, I've got that other LTD over there. We'll talk about It's got air, disc brakes and tilt. This one has power windows, power seat, vacuum door locks, but no tilt. Regular AM radio. Everything works on the car. The air needs charged, but the compressor does kick in. It looks like it's already been changed over to the R134A. So I'm pretty confident that if it was charged, it would work just fine. All the functions work as far as floor defrost and max air and all that. And the windows work. The back ones have a little bit of a mind of their own sometimes. But they, I've never had them stuck all the way down or all the way up. They've always eventually worked. <clears throat> it's set out here and got all this deterioration on the top. That's why I've decided it's got to go. I, I don't have a place to keep it inside and he's willing to take it. You could tell, you know, it's still got the original primer and so let me get around here out of the sun. <clears throat> it's still got good primer and stuff under here. There's no bubbles, but you know, that it's gonna be if somebody doesn't get it inside. So it's gotta go down the road. Um, It's not got a great paint job on it. Somebody's painted it and somebody didn't do a good job. Um, you can tell there's things that I didn't even see, you know, before I bought it. That's I'll, I'll never buy another car sight on scene. And this is why I kind of want to do a video so he sees what he's getting. All this stuff is fixable, but it's just strange that a car that's really so straight, somebody did such a terrible job on. like. These rear quarter extensions aren't lined up well. 
you can do it, but why are they out of line? I don't, I don't understand. This one sticks way up. That one's out of line. It's out. All this stuff can be adjusted, but I just wonder why it's like that to start with. I do know it's been wrecked in the front. Because even when I seen the pictures, it didn't have LTD on the hood. And I told the guy, I said, it's supposed to have LTD on the hood. He's like, no, it says Ford down the headlight. I'm like, well, I know that's correct. But believe me, it's supposed to say LTD on the hood. I said, open the hood. And I said, I guarantee you, you'll see where there's holes filled with Bondo. And he goes, yeah, sure enough, there is. So I drilled the holes out, put these emblems on it. And since it's been here, this is starting to crack out right here, just because it's set outside. So that needs fixed. Another thing I didn't notice until it got here, of course, you couldn't see that in pictures, is the stone deflector between the bumper and the grill. It's completely gone. It's missing. And I've got one, and I told him I would throw it in. I may try to put it in for him. But it's just strange things like that, that clearly it's been hit in the front end and fixed. And this bumper, to me, really looks like new old stock. And the grills even look kind of new old stock. So maybe they did find good parts for it to put it back together, but why wouldn't they put the LTD back on it? I don't understand. So just a lot of odd things like that. And then another thing, all of these rubber seals are gone. Yeah, you can buy these at Dennis Carpenter or Max Auto, stuff like that places like that, but they're all missing. It's like they took them off and just threw them away when they painted it. But at the same time, they didn't mask off any of this stuff. They painted all the door lock, vacuum door lock hoses and the, the window harness, yet they took all the rubber things off and just evidently threw them away. Being an Arizona car, maybe they were all cracked up. I don't know, but they're supposed to be little rubber bumpers right here too that are missing. So odd little things like that. The rubber that goes here, again, you can buy it, but the windows are rattly because they took the window sweeps out of it. This is all things that, you know, I couldn't see in photos and never even thought to ask about. Again, this side right here, they're gone. This one's here. It's part of the rubber, actually, but it's not fastened. This one's missing. But again, this is a totally solid, rust-free door. Not a bubble anywhere. See? Again, they painted that stuff, and they're supposed to be these are supposed to be held on with screws and they're missing. So I don't know, maybe they had the doors off. Maybe it has different doors, but I can tell you that the, the VIN on this door tag, it looks like it has the original rivets. This VIN matches the, the VIN in the windshield and the color code B that's maroon and the FD is red cloth vinyl seats and that's what it's got. Another thing that's odd, I hope you can see this, down underneath the cowl, it looks like the maroon paint is peeling and even the wiper linkage has like white paint on it and then maroon paint like chipping off of it. But the car was clearly originally, originally maroon, but it's got white paint there on the cowl. So the car is just really strange. It's a good runner. It's a good driver. It's just whoever was doing the work on it had no business touching a car. Another one of my pet peeves, please stop doing this. Drilling screws through the rocker moldings. You know, 3M makes that double sticky tape that you can double and triple up to make this stick. You don't have to drill a hole through the rockers and ruin them. You can't find this stuff. I don't remember if the other side's like that or not. Yeah, both sides has screws, front and back. If you can't find the original clip, 
buy a roll of 3M trim tape. I just don't understand it. Okay, here's another thing that I didn't see in the photos. You know, they take a, a picture of the engine like this. Well, I knew that the fan shroud was gone because it should have an air conditioning fan shroud versus a little half moon metal shaped round one. And I get it. And somebody's put an electric fan on here. And it does work. It works fine when it gets up so warm. This little relay kicks on and the fan runs till it cools off and it cycles like it's supposed to. But again, maybe that's an Arizona thing because of the heat. Maybe it was heating up. I've never really driven it around here to know if it gets hot or not. I mean, I've driven it back and forth, forth to town a few times and the, the red hot light works and it's never come on. It's never seemed hot. And the fan always cycles like it's supposed to. So, again, maybe it was an Arizona thing, but I don't like that. I would find the original clutch fan and shroud to put back on it if it was mine. What else? Oh, I noticed, like, this windshield washer nozzle is painted maroon, but this one is not. It's almost like they took that one off. And it didn't get painted, but they left this one on, and it got painted. Again, it's just strange, strange stuff. We've got a rip here in the seat. Of course, we got tape on it here. I did see that stuff. I wasn't worried about it, because I honestly thought I was probably going to part it out. It has the original headliner with... A rip up here and it looks like a mouse hole over there but it doesn't smell like mice and that c pillar and this rear dash has like newer aftermarket headliner material that's not correct i mean the original material was just glued on there like that but i mean you can buy this stuff original material so why did they use that i don't a lot of things i don't get that's why i'm going over it and showing everybody exactly what it is before i sell it Look in the trunk. There's the original wheel covers. And this is just some extra dash pieces that was in here. This is 68 that looks like it's been cut up for an aftermarket stereo. And then there's what I believe is a 67 speedometer and lens and stuff below it. But the trunk looks really good. Again, there's obviously no rust in the quarters or anything. And these trunk lids rust out something fierce. And there's not a bubble anywhere. Still has a little weep hole right here intact. Not a bubble across that trunk anywhere. So just this trunk lid alone in the doors is worth a lot of money. If somebody's looking for them. The rear bumper is really nice. So that's why I was looking at, you know, just parts, but I was disappointed when I got it and seen all these things. Seat works in all directions. Let's see if we can start it up. Well, I just had it running. It needs some carburetor work. Hold on. Okay, so the choke was stuck completely shut. See, it normally starts like that, but that's what happens when it just sits around here all winter not being driven. It needs driven. It needs the carburetor clean. To so see how smooth it is otherwise, and it runs great. Brakes work good. Apparently the hood latch needs some stuff sprayed on it too. See here the, see that window's rattling, that drives me nuts. 
Um, I'm going to hit this vacuum door lock. See that? Those work. This side. So that's cool, but electric was so much better. Let's go down the road. The fuel gauge does work. We've got almost a quarter tank of gas. Rides smooth, drives good. That rattling window over there drives me nuts. All it needs is a pair of window sweeps. So let's take care of that. Uh -huh. I'll go this way. Shift's good. These were really solid built cars. The speedometer is nice and smooth. The mirror was missing when I got it, but it is under the seat needs put back on and it does have a piece broken off of it Farmers are really planting the fields. We'll turn around right here. Coil springs are making some popping sounds. A lot of things since it's just been sitting here. I should have let it go a long time ago. Now we're going right into the sun. Just like my green car, these little 2100 auto light carburetors, that they're no pooch. They run really good. This one just needs a good cleaning, I think. Oh, there's 70 mile an hour. No shakes or shimmies. These roads are rough, really rough. All the lights work. Really peppy little car. Well, I guess it ain't little. It's little compared to that 79 Lincoln that we still haven't talked much about. I'm going to get this thing set up on the tripod over there so you guys can see it going down the road.
see if I can run the windows for you guys. Let's see. These are that was a fast one. Not bad for 55 year old windows. I haven't heard the fan kick on yet. It's not very hot today. Yeah, there it is. It's running. It just now kicked on. So it's blowing. I got this set up over here and I will go down the road so you guys can see it in motion. Okay guys, so there it is. That's a 68 LTD two-door that you've probably seen in several videos that I kept telling you we'd talk about. So we finally did. The moral of the story is never buy a car sight unseen. And when you do go look at it, know what you're looking for. I just feel fortunate that this car really doesn't need any body panels. It's great that it's all rust free. The hood can be repaired. And I've got a stone deflector so a paint job and a vinyl top and a little bit of interior work. No, oh, some springs and shocks, of course, wore out, but a little bit of that, somebody could have a really nice looking car and I'm pretty sure he's gonna take it. But if not, it'll be listed for sale pretty quick. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. I've got some pretty decent ideas now that the weather's starting to break. So hit that little notification bell so you can see when I post something. Oh, I do want to point out that one of the simulated wheel lug nuts is gone here. And he knows that. In fact, I wasn't even going to let those wheel covers go with the car, but he wants them, so I said he could have them. So anyway... There it is. Again, please remember to hit the thumbs up and that subscribe button, that notification bell, and stay tuned for some more. We're going to talk about that four-door LTD over there here pretty quick. So that 428 car, it's got some neat little options on it too. So stay tuned.